Hi guys, um, so in this video we will uh, we are going to learn what is uh, AWS CloudFront uh, and how it works. So before we start, uh, let's uh, consider a simple scenario uh, as you can see on the screen. Uh, let's say uh, there is a user A uh, who is trying to access a website and uh, this specific website is hosted on a specific server and um, this is how typically uh, any uh, website uh, that we try to uh, access works right uh, now let's add another scenario on the same use case so let's say you have another user b who is also trying to access the same website now uh, imagine uh, the specific website it hosted in a specific only at a single location uh, uh, which is depicted by the um by this specific um, location let's let's call it let's say this is an us location and uh, let's say user a is from us whereas user b is from uh, singapore and when user a tries to access the website since the website is hosted in a server in us uh, so user a mostly will have a good experience uh, accessing the website whereas uh, since uh, user B is located in Singapore when user B tries to access the same website due to the geographical distance between the server uh, where the website is hosted and the geographical location of user B so in this specific case there would be um, there, there might be uh, instances of latency or in case uh, this specific user is hosting uh, lots uh, lots of uh, websites then that specific um, server might also have uh, suffer from a higher load uh, issue now this entire scenario is when the website is running without aws cloudfront so we will try to understand how aws cloudfront can help in this regard and help us solve this kind of scenario so before we uh, deep dive uh, to figure out the solution let's try to understand uh, aws cloudfront and how what is the architecture of aws uh, cloudfront so aws cloudfront is nothing but uh, called uh, cdn or content delivery network so what uh, actually it does is it uh, keeps the contents uh, this contents in this specific case is uh, the contents of the website the the source code so it basically spreads across the contents of uh, of um, any source say a website in different geographical locations but uh, remember one thing it doesn't um, it doesn't distribute the actual uh, the actual source code it, it, it keeps a cache version of the website so let's try to understand three main uh, contents in this scenario so in aws cloudfront you have three main uh, three main thing so the first thing is you have something called origin server this server is the one which will be hosting the actual source code of the website Point number two, so any source code that you can think of, the source code will be comprising of um, say uh, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, etc. Right? So all these source codes are hosted in a S3 bucket within an origin server. And whenever you push any new changes to the website, those changes, those changes to the codes would be residing in the S3 bucket in the origin server. Now, a cache version of the website would be present in all these green spots. So in AWS, these green spots are called edge locations. So basically these edge locations will be holding a cache version of the website. I hope it's clear. So now how AWS uh, helps is in case when you are trying to access a website so aws first will go and try to access the website from the 
its location and in case uh, uh, now let's say we have a scenario where the cache person doesn't have the updated information let's say uh, you are trying to uh, download a file which is the downloaded information is uh, the um, the intended information is not there in the cache version of the website so in that case aws cloud fund internally will make a call to the origin server or to be more precise to the s3 bucket so you do not have to do it so aws cloud fund will internally take care of this it will take care it will um, in case the uh, the cache version or the edge location doesn't have uh, updated information which the user is requesting so aws cloud fund will internally make a call to the s3 bucket in the origin server and will get the information and serve it to the user i hope it is clear now let's say how this specific architecture can help us in this specific uh, our original problem uh, problem use case since we had uh, two different users who who were uh, geographically at different uh, locations whereas the server was uh, being hosted only at a single location that's why the users would be um, who would try to access uh, the website from a um, from a distant location would not have a good experience accessing the website so now when we use aws cloud front as we understood uh, in the architecture here so um, since there is a cache version of the website already present in the edge locations so when user b uh, who is uh, who is in singapore so when user b tries to access the uh, website so instead of accessing the uh, so instead of accessing the website from this in this case the website will be accessed from this specific um uh, edge location so obviously there is a um, there is a lots of distance cut so so basically user b is uh, accessing the website from a uh, from a server which is much nearer to him uh, from a geographical point of view so that's why so he would have a much smoother experience uh, while accessing the website now from a normal blog uh, website or normal um, uh, day to day personal blogs websites etc uh this uh, issue might not uh, this specific uh, scenario might not be very um, uh, might not be bottleneck but when uh, when you think of a business um, a business use case or a, or let's say you have a e-commerce website so in those kind of scenarios the user experience is very much important and that's why uh, this when the uh, aws cloud fund is used so user can have a very good experience i hope uh, you are able to understand how uh, aws cloud front works and what is the architecture and how it helps uh, to solve uh, business scenarios thank you